The amount of tension generated from muscle contractions depends on the frequency of stimulation. A single stimulus produces a muscle twitch. When a second stimulus is applied, before the muscle has time to completely relax from an initial contraction, it exhibits a stronger contraction. This is called wave summation. Successive stimulations at the same frequency will generate a series of contractions with increasing tension. This produces a sawtooth tracing called unfused tetanus. If the frequency of the stimulations increases to a point where the muscle does not have a chance to partially relax between twitches, the muscle will exhibit a smooth sustained contraction called complete or fused tetanus. Stimulation of fibers in a motor unit generates muscle tension. The more motor units involved, the greater the force of contraction. A single threshold stimulus will produce a weak muscle contraction from a single motor unit. When stronger stimulus is applied to the muscle, more motor units are activated simultaneously. These additional motor units are said to be recruited, and the increased tension results in a stronger contraction of the whole muscle. Weaker motor units are recruited first. Stronger motor units are progressively added as more force is required and precision is less important. When all the motor units are activated simultaneously, the muscle generates its maximum contraction force. A muscle under maximal stimulus can only contract for a short time. Alternately contracting motor units relieve one another and enable sustained contraction. This method of recruitment, known as asynchronous recruitment, allows the individual motor units time to recover from contraction. They recover by regenerating more ATP during their period of relaxation. Muscle tone is achieved in a similar manner. In a skeletal muscle, small groups of motor units are involuntarily and alternately activated to sustain a partial contraction that is not strong enough to produce movement. Muscle tone is important to maintain muscle health and in situations where muscles maintain position or pressure, such as the sustained contractions of the neck muscles that hold the head upright. If neural damage occurs, then muscle tone will diminish and muscle cells will become flaccid.